Hey filmmakers, it's Carrie with Filmmaker Central, and we're going to talk about the new DaVinci Resolve 18. So in this first video, we're going to talk about the automatic depth map. This is a very cool feature that can allow you to do all kinds of things. But uh, in short, it allows you to create a, a map of the depth of a scene and apply effects based on that depth. So great example would be I have uh, someone talking and I want to blur out the background a little bit, make it look like a, you know, some bokeh or something in the background. Easy to do. We could add a fog effect. We could do all kinds of things. But we're gonna, I'm going to show you how it works because it's a, it can be a little tricky to make it work right. So here we have this, this scene and it's me just standing in front of my Jeep doing a little um, outro for my Trail Traveler YouTube channel. Now, what I wanna do is I wanna kinda defocus some of the stuff in the background and make it look like I'm using a, like a F2.8 lens or something. So I'm gonna go to the color page here and I've got a color grade on here, real basic color grade. And we need to add the depth map, map and the effect. So I'm gonna come up over here. Now you do need to have the beta of Resolve 18 and it needs to be the studio version. So just get that clear. And while I don't recommend installing the beta, if you have any projects going on, I have it on here on, on this system so we can play around with it. All right, so I've got the depth map here and I'm gonna grab my input and go to there. And uh, now we can see what this map looks like. So I can see that I'm in the foreground, I can see the Jeep in the background, and then further on, I can see some other stuff. So let's invert that. Okay, good. So now I've got the Jeep in the background, I'm in the foreground, but I'm seeing just some stuff around here. And I probably want to, uh, I want to probably give a little more separation there. So I'm going to go to isolation and let's see if I set my target depth. Uh, okay. Still getting used to some of the controls, so I, I'll, I'll increase my tolerance and then I'll add uh, probably a little softening around it to see how that goes. All right, now we've got the depth map here and now we need to add our effect. So I'm just gonna add a node and then let's go to, uh, let's do a lens blur and let's drop it on there. And I'm gonna connect this bottom piece over there, go to the depth map and remove the preview. Look, look at that. I mean, how cool is that right there? We've blurred out that background, very simple. So let me disable that so you can see what it looks like. I'll turn it back on. Instant bokeh. <laughs> so you can do some pretty cool things with this. And like I said, other things you could do would be to add a fog effect or uh, just about anything. And in fact, let's, let's just go ahead and do that. Just because there is a new fast noise. Let's create a new, noise, a new node. We'll drop the fast noise on there. Again, we'll connect this up. Okay, so we have something. It's not great, but we have something. So let's go to the fast noise over here. Let's go to our global blend. Let's turn that down. Boom. So now we have fog in the background. So very easy to add some depth-based effects with DaVinci Resolve 18. Now, I, I'm really curious to see what else I come up with 
to um, to use this with, whether I'm actually going to use it for anything. I was playing around with some footage of the Jeep on a particular scene that it just, everything was just way too sharp. And so I did kind of a smoke effect in the background to uh, just focus on a particular part of the area. Now under the presets, there's mist, smoke, water surface, river, heat haze. You know, so a heat haze is going to give that little shimmer, like looking across a prairie or something. I don't know if we'll be able to see it in a preview here. Takes a bit to render that. But let's just go and use the, the smoke preset. We'll go over to the edit tab and I'll just take a small section of this and I'm going to go to my playback, use optimized media and render cache as user. I'll go to my clip. I'll render the cache color output there. So it's, I could render it in place. I could do a few other things, but this is going to effectively render this clip and allow it to play back smoothly. Now with the smoke effect, I can animate it. I can give it X or Y orientation with velocity. So I could have it wisping off to one side or something or straight up, whatever I want it to do. So you can do some cool things with that. So this is just a, I, I like this. This is a cool feature and I think it's going to come in handy. So let's See, you see a little. We made it back. So that was the end of Pratt 3. We made it back out. We did have to winch one time at the same place. That there you go. Smoke effect. So that is the new depth map in DaVinci Resolve 18. Hope you like it. If you do something cool with it and you put up a YouTube video, Share a link. Let me see what you did. I think this is going to be an interesting new feature that could probably help a lot of people. So thanks for watching. This has been Kerry with Filmmaker Central. I'll catch you next time. Bye-bye.